win in their home gym at Hinkle last weekend against Villanova. And they've got the first points on the board with Jamil Tell question about it. And I think getting off to a good start is paramount for the Butler Bulldogs. And right on cue, Telford off to a good start. Rebounder, Landon Moore is a little bit more steady and calm. And he might get a little better three-point shooting out of Moore as he knocks one down. That could be a difference as well in this end. And Telford got another three. He's got eight points already. He's in a good flow. Into the post, here's Andre Screen, and he gets past King for the slam. Good as that. Two at times for Creighton. The guard's getting sped up and not being able to throw it in. He's Finley Bizjack from outside for Butler. How about Butler from the three? He's a better job fighting through it. And the cap came from out deep. And everybody oh. getting involved for the Bulldogs. They're the best team in the country at not fouling. Butler's up there too. And to the rim again for Telford. Trying to get this switch on Ashworth. Shiner did a better job fighting through it, so he stays on Telford. And he grinds his way in for 12 points. <laughs> you said it's the best you've yeah, ever seen. Not quite yet. And Telford, he is just unstoppable. Goodness. And he has done a good job playing through contact. Air Brooks finally getting going from outside. His first field goal in this game. Winning out on the three. And three seconds left. Here comes Moore. Gives it up. Bizjack at the horn. Knocks wow. it in. Never mind that strategy. Butler does get a shot. And a good shot from Finley Bizjack. Uh, about three seconds. You got a lot more time than you think you do. A great pass from Landon Moore to Finley Bizjack with a huge triple to end the first half for Butler. Wow. How fun is this first half then? Shireman on Telford and Mason Miller on Landon Moore. So already of an adjustment there. And a great back cut from Pierre Brooks. And a good feed from Telford. DJ Davis just knocked down three free throws. Sometimes when a shooter gets one, he might hunt. But instead, Pierre Brooks with the trailer. Right before the half and into the first segment of this second half. And he bangs his way in. Brooks officially hot with five and a movement without the ball. Kapke just checked in and bags a three. Incredible. Both two. A little pick and pop magic for Kapke at the top. Bowden Kapke, one of the five finalists for Mr. Basketball in the state of Minnesota. We'll call him Mr. Pick and Pop here in Omaha. Kapke raining threes. And Butler's bench is loving it. Really, really good. It has esteemed alums. Really excited that they could go back to the NCAA. It's Telford. Baseline, yes. Really good. Ray Alexander. And Bizjack with speed and spin. Whoa. Hello. We're playing hard. You gotta play smart. You gotta play smart. Listen. Listen. Ja had his man back down, shot a hook shot, and they dunked at the other end. That cannot happen. When he gets down here, he turns to shoot. We're gone, man. We're gone. We're gone. We're gone. You can't give him anything easy. And we're fine. Shit, we're getting whatever we want down here. We're in great shape. Uh, by Stephen Ashworth to Chase Davis. The screen tough catch. Got a smaller defender and finished over Parabello. Another multi three point night for Ashworth. Just like a week ago. Telford wow. from the same spot. Sold out crowd in Omaha on their feet on this trip. And Brooks in to call Brenner again. This is some high-level offense. Really is. And through the back door, Davis. How did that pass sneak in there? Robin. Now Bizjack breaks free. And he hit another three. Still seven to go. In the lane, Thomas drains that. And Davis finds his spot and make it five makes in a row for the Bulldogs. Butler is on fire and Paul ready from three. They ran him off the line that time. And Davis gets to his floater. Seton Hall the exception. And Davis bags another three for Butler at the timeout. I mean, everybody's standing. Sold out crowd on a Friday night in Omaha. Telford back in the game and that will not make the Creighton fans happy at all. Shireman's got a man up and slow down. Telford. And the fall away goes down. 0.5 
for the win. There's the lob, the touch, and Butler on the road has a top 15 win over Creighton.